What's up, guys? So today, guys, we are back at it with another season five video. And today I wanted to look at 10 things that have actually been removed from Fortnite. With the season five update, Epic Games has added a ton of stuff to Fortnite, but they've also taken a lot of things out, including the money from my wallet. And while some things like locations are a little bit more obvious than others, what I wanted to do is take a little bit of a deep dive and look at the 10 things that have actually been removed from the game. Now, before we go any further, guys, this is your last chance to get a Best Life shirt. There is one day left and one day only. Um, I've been wearing this shirt a lot. This is probably gonna be the last time you see this shirt in a video for a little bit, but get your Best Life shirt, top link down in the description. Without further ado though, let's get into it. So coming in at our number 10 spot, we have My Sex Life. Nope, that, that, that's the wrong script. For real though, coming in at number 10, we have Hop Rocks. So I would say that one of the biggest additions we saw in the season four update of Fortnite was actually Hop Rocks. While these were mostly located in Dusty Divot, we also saw them at Tilted Towers, the prison, and a few other locations around the map. Primarily, I would say that Hop Rocks were just a way to get around the map. And the thing you're gonna find with this list is while a lot of things have been removed, in most cases, Epic Games have actually replaced that thing with something else. And in this case, they took out Hot Rocks, you cannot find them anywhere in the map now, and they actually added in golf carts. In my opinion, the addition of golf carts was basically just to make up for the lack of Hot Rocks, which kind of kind of help you get around the map and escape the storm. I'm definitely not mad that Hot Rocks have been removed, but it is what it is, and I'm certainly gonna miss them. Now moving on to our number nine spot, this is something that's, uh, Probably quite obvious, you guys definitely didn't miss this one. Um, Anarchy Acres was removed. I just gotta take a quick moment and say RIP Anarchy Acres. Also feels really bad for the Red Knight because that was the Red Knight's uh, location. <laughs> Anyways though, seeing as Anarchy Acres was one of two farms in the map, I'm really not all that disappointed. I felt like of any location that needed to go, it could have been one of the two farms and you, know, you still have the other ones. So it got replaced by a, a unique golf course. I'm really happy with it. Um, and while I guess I will miss Anarchy a little bit, it's definitely not the worst thing that could have happened. Now moving on to our number eight spot, this is going to be the Carbide Omega and Blockbuster Challenges. Now I would say 99% of people probably already know this, but I did want to include it on this list for the 1% of people that have been asking. Basically with the coming of season five, um, all the season four challenges expired. So, you know, if you didn't unlock Carbide or Omega parts or you didn't get Blockbuster finished, um, it's basically over and you can't get it. Same idea as anything from the Battle Pass. So um, I know a lot of people already know that, but for like the 1% of people that didn't, I just wanted to include it on the list for you. And while I didn't get level 80 Omega, season five, I swear to God, 500K experience, Ragnarok, I'm coming for you. Anyways, moving on to our number seven spot, this is going to be the farming glitch. So there's been a few different fast harvest glitches, but the one in season four basically required you to use um, the wave emote, you put it on your right mouse, and essentially you swing twice, use the emote, then tap again on your uh, on your pickaxe to cancel the wave, and essentially you could harvest faster. I think we all saw this one coming, and I'm honestly surprised that it lasted as long as it did, but this glitch or, or exploit or whatever you want to call it has since been removed from the game. Since it is an exploit, I'm certainly not sad that this has been removed, and honestly, I, I knew it was going to, so it was one of those things that I never even really tried to get good with, but um, for those of you who were using it, I'm sure you're pretty sad to see it go. Anyways, this is a pretty small change, but moving on to number six, we have the fox and the crab. So it's kind of sad, but the structures that were located uh, by Moisty Meyer, the crab, and up at the north uh, eastern part of the map, the fox, Epic Games took them out. Now, I get, I guess, why the crab was taken out because it, it was part of Wailing, or sorry, Moisty Meyer, but I don't know why. For some reason though, they just decided to take out the fox. I'm really hoping that they're gonna add something into the desert at least, like maybe a scorpion or something cool like that. But as of now, um, yeah, they, they got taken out. Okay, so moving on to our number five spot. This is something that isn't going to affect PC players, but I wanted to include it for all you console guys. Aim assist on the hunting rifle has actually been removed. Now, I don't have any gameplay of this because I'm a PC player, but um, I feel like this is actually a good thing. I look at a hunting rifle the same way that I look at a sniper rifle, and I, I don't really 
think I would want auto aim getting in my way simply because I want to be able to line up shots and kind of lead people rather than just, you know, directly shoot on them. Now, I am not a console player, so I'm very curious to hear what you guys think of that. But aim assist has been removed or greatly, greatly decreased um, with the season five update. Now, moving on to our number four spot. Um, the shortest lived location in Fortnite history. Yeah, um, the soccer stadium has been removed. So I, I guess basically they added the soccer stadium in only for the World Cup, which I will say, smart decision. Um, it's already gone. So what they did is they had the old broken down buildings, castle, whatever you want to call it. And then they replaced that with the soccer stadium. Season five comes around, they then remove that building, the stadium. And now there's just nothing. I think what they were going for with this is they simply just wanted to divert some of the traffic to other locations. But at the end of the day, um, yeah, it, it, it's, it's literally just gone. I don't know what great entrepreneur exists in the world of Fortnite, but this guy is seriously killing it, okay? Opens up a giant soccer stadium, makes his cash, or maybe he, he ran out of business, but then right next door, a golf course opens up. So I feel like they were probably related. This guy's making cash with the soccer stadium, but then he's like, you know what would be even better? Let's sell this soccer stadium and open a golf course. Yeah, it's kind of weird, but uh, I don't know. Soccer stadium's gone. It is what it is. Okay, now moving on to our number three spot, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a major rip, and this is playground mode. So I went on vacation from the 3rd of July to the 12th, and playground mode was released on the 3rd and taken out of the game on the 12th. So I have no gameplay of playground mode, and I've never played it, um, but I heard it was fun, and they took it out. Now, Playground Mode is going return to Fortnite, and I think Epic Games basically used this as a trial period to see what people think of it, and they're going to update it. But as of today, um, and, and in the Season 5 update, it has been removed, and now we just have 50v50. Now, moving on to our number two spot. This is going to be shotguns. Now, I'm not talking shotguns in general, okay? You can still pick up a pump, attack a heavy, run around with it, get some kills. But any double combination of shotguns has been removed from the game. It's very obvious that Epic is going very hard to nerf shotguns, and I, I genuinely think it is what it is. Okay, they've been buffing SMGs, both tactical and silenced. Um, shotguns are getting nerfed. Shotguns have been nerfed, and they're only getting more nerfed, and now they kinda are weird. So basically what's going on with shotguns now is you have one, and if you shoot it and switch to another shotgun, there is a little, literally a loading timer before you can shoot the next one. It's it's really annoying. I don't like it, I'm not a fan, but I, I guess I respect what it is. It's certainly not preferable, it's certainly not um, good, but I, I get it. So essentially what they're doing is they're changing the meta so that you can really only run one shotgun at a time, and if you want to switch out to another weapon, it's pretty much going to have to be an SMG. I'm personally really okay with this. I actually do enjoy the SMGs now that they've got a huge buff, um, and I find running pump or heavy shotgun with an SMG to be just absolutely fine. That being said though, rip double pump, rip pump attack, rip heavy tack, rip, really any combination ever. Um, you just you just can't do it anymore. And most of all, rip double heavy because, th because that was a lot of fun. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, we're coming down to our number one spot. And uh, this is something that is probably the most significant thing, which is why it's coming in at number one. Um, Moisty Mire. Yeah, it seems that uh, that entire location it, 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 it's gone. Obviously, you guys know this, but I figured it was important to include on the list. And the most important thing um, is that Moisty Meyer and the prison have been removed. Now, while the prison wasn't a significant location, I feel like Moisty Meyer was really only getting better and better throughout the seasons, and it, it's it's gone. I'm really okay with it. It's obviously been replaced by the desert. Um, it, it's, it's a nice new location. You've got Paradise Palms, an updated Gust Track, a few other locations. I'm really okay with it. I think I think it's good, um, but it, it's it's obviously uh, a big change to the map. Now, what's really interesting is Dusty Divot has almost kind of replaced what Moisty Mire was. You see, the Fortnite map has always had two major farming locations. You have Wailing Woods, which has a ton of trees, and of course, you had Moisty Mire. And now they took out Moisty Mire, basically 
filled up the divot with nothing but trees, and it's kind of like been the replacement for another huge farming area. Anyways, I would say Moisty Buyer being removed is probably the biggest and most important change to Season 5 um, that you guys were already probably aware of, but yeah. And one last thing before we get into the end of this video, I just wanted to add in is that uh, I want to thank you guys, everyone who's bought a shirt. Um, the idea behind this was basically, I want to sell a t-shirt that I can wear, um, something that I can be proud of and be like, yeah, that's my merch, I can wear it out and just feel like I, I, had, I got a cool shirt. Um, it wasn't about making money. Uh, it wasn't about, you know, like selling the most number of shirts I could. If I wanted to do that, I could have done something like, you know, the Peace Out Nerd shirt or like Zesty or something like that, but it wasn't something that I wanted to wear. Um, and this is, and I'm really happy with this. And uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm so amazed at how many people have bought shirts. So I wanted to say thank you guys so much. Um, it really does mean a lot to me, everybody that's bought a shirt. There is one day left if you still want to get one. Um, but you're probably sick of me saying this. So I just thought I'd throw that in there as a thank you to everyone who has bought one. There are going to be more Best Life shirts. I'm probably going to do some crazier designs. But I want to start with something simple and clean um, and work from there. Anyways, that's it. Yeah. I think we'll end it there. Bye.